Hey everyone, thanks for joining and Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'm going to take a look at a brand new game on Kickstarter called The Night Cage. This is a new one by Smirk and Dagger Games, and this is a brand new series that I'm trying out as well. I've only released a couple of videos in this series so far, but basically what this series is going to be is me going through the Kickstarter page and then giving my opinions on it and letting you know whether or not this is what I'm looking to back. Now, like I said, I'm looking for some feedback on these and I've received some feedback already. So this is going to look a little bit different than the previous ones that I've done. I'm going to add additional content towards the end to hopefully make these videos more valuable to you as the watcher. Now, there's a couple of other things I wanna point out. So first off, I have backed, I'm a super backer. I've backed 315 games to date. And unfortunately, I don't have the funds to back every game that I'd like to. So again, of course, some of you may track me down and find out which Kickstarter I have and all that kind of stuff. And if I tell you that I'm backing a game on this, and I may not back it if I don't have the financials for it. So just keep that in mind. I won't actually say that I'm backing it, but I will give you my opinion on whether or not this is one that I would back if I have the funds and I may ch choose to, it just depends on how things are looking on my end, of course. As the rest of you know, we have tons of games that we'd love to back, but whether or not we have the funds for them is another story. So just keep that in mind as you watch. The other thing is that these are just my opinions. I can't uh, speak for everything and I haven't dug into all of the different research on this. So again, of course, just take that as it is. Don't take everything that I say as gospel. And please let me know in the comments below what you guys think on this as well. If this is one that you guys are looking at backing, why or why not? I'd love to hear from you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. And the first thing I like to do is check out the trailer that they have and give my thoughts on that. So let's take a look and watch what this one is. You awake in the dark, your skin cold, your mind blank. You have nothing but your fear, a candle, and a question. How long, how long will your light last? You must work with the others to find a way out before you meet what waits beyond your light. Welcome to The Night Cage, a cooperative tile placement game that traps one to four lost souls in an otherworldly labyrinth of eternal darkness. You only have the weak glow of a candle to light your way. Thanks to this unique candlelight mechanic, each player only illuminates a small portion of the maze at a time. As players move, new pathways are revealed while old ones vanish, consumed by the darkness forever. To win, prisoners must each collect a key, find a gate, and escape as a team. Darkness isn't the only obstacle though. Crumbling pathways give way to pits, leading to parts unknown, while monsters lash out to extinguish the light of unlucky souls who stumble upon them. Mustering your nerve can help you face the hidden horrors ahead, but only strategy and cooperation will lead you to the gate before your candle casts its final flicker. How long will your light last? Very cool. So first off with the trailer, as some of you that have watched me previously know, with trailers, I really want to know what the game's about. I love seeing the, the animations at the beginning of some of the trailers and that it's, it's a cool effect. But as a backer, I want to know what the game's about. So this trailer right here has it all. It has a really cool intro and they also tell me exactly what the game is, how it kind of plays and what my objectives are in it. So big thumbs up to Smirk and Dagger for that. Well done on the trailer. So with this one, we have 19 days remaining. This one's been out for a couple days now and it has already funded well over its funding goal of 8,000. It's at 52 as of this recording and you guys will be seeing this in a couple days. So it'll probably have 17 or 16 days left. From there, let's take a look at the different pledge options. So the first one is a retail pledge, and this is for the retail stores that want to get involved and get a, a good number of copies for discounts. Then the first pledge that we have is a $35 pledge, and this is the base game 
plus the stretch goals. And then there's a deluxe pledge as well for $49. And with this one, it adds the base game, the stretch goals, and then you have some acry acrylic upgrades, a soundtrack, and five flickering LED candle statues. So some additional effects just to make the game pop a little bit more, but nothing that is Kickstarter exclusive, which is nice. And it looks like they're estimating roughly January of 2021 for shipping. Uh, with everything currently going on, with everything and normal production, might be stretching it a little bit. We'll see um, on how that is. So from there, then moving on down, it gives us a little bit of backstory on how this works. It's a one to four player game, so they're is some sort of solo rules with it, with it, which is nice. And I love the art style with this. This is so cool. Really dark and very gritty. I love it. And very simplistic. There's not a whole lot going on here. It's more about the strategy than the mechanics, which is one of the things that I really enjoy with Smirk and Dagger games. And we've got a bunch of awards for it. And then they give a little bit of a breakdown again of, of how the game plays from that trailer. Okay, let's get past that. They have an option where you can check out the rules. So if you want to know how the game plays specifically, you can jump on in there. And then we have stretch goals. All right, so that we have here. So first off, it is funded, so we hit that. Now at 12,000, we have the candles. So these are different size candles, which has the colorblind friendly option, which is really nice. That's really cool that they did that. Then the next one is a fifth player. So you can go from one to five now. That's, that's really cool. And it's a double-sided board with additional materials. So there might be something else going on with that as well. A discard organizer board that's very handy to have and it says here that it helps with setups for the next game so that's cool we have a new monster the keepers and those are gonna have some different effects at 45 prisoner turn marker okay and that's a for three player and then the next goal is a deluxe cover gloss matte finish. So this is going to add some just aesthetic effects. And then there's more to come after that. And then we have the breakdown of the game. Then you're going to get 79 tiles, all the breakdown of the different tiles, tokens, the player pieces, the stand to hold all of the tiles once they're shuffled up, the player boards, and the game board. And then with the deluxe version, you have the base game plus, you have the acrylic upgrade. And there's going to be acrylic gates and tokens as well. So that's cool. I, I love adding those acrylic pieces and that kind of stuff. Anything that makes the game stand out a little bit more, I'm all for. We have a soundtrack and five flickering candles. That's really cool to set the mood. That's awesome. Love it. And then the, the retailer pledge. Okay. And then we have some reviews from the Dice Tower, Man vs. Meeple, Reputable, very nice. Ant Lab Games did a video for playthroughs. And then it looks like some Tabletopia stuff or Table uh, or Twitch. They're doing it on Twitch. And so that's something you could check out. And uh, Kurt from the company. And then we have ways of, of reaching them, contacting them, staying connected and hitting all that and then finally the shipping so with the shipping it looks pretty pretty good the US is at nine dollars Canada 15 and so on and so forth nothing too crazy too high let me know in the comments below if that if this is on par with some of the shipping that you're used to from your country if you're out of the United States and these seem pretty good to me but again I'm in the US so that's the one I focus on and then finally they have the team in that so from here, now I want to talk about some more in-depth stuff. So I have a bunch of keynotes here. The first one is the company's past history. So with this, this is only the second game that Smirk and Dagger has brought to Kickstarter. Their first one funded, but it has not shipped yet. So that is one thing to think about, that, that they have not shown their, their colors on Kickstarter. 
The next thing is their standing. So, so far going through, they've already gotten three updates out and they're very heavy in the communication. There's 158 comments so far and most of them in the comment section, there's a couple people that are answering those questions pretty regularly and being involved. So if you have questions about the game, they're doing a really good job so far that I can tell of answering those questions. You have Kurt on here and a couple of other people as well answering those questions. So they're very active within the community. And this is true with most of Smirk and Dagger stuff. The next point I want to hit on is communication. I did not back their first game, so I don't know how they're handling communication so far, but knowing Smirk and Dagger as a company, I, I don't have any worries about this. They've always been extremely good with communication so far that I've seen in the industry, so I don't expect anything less from them with the Kickstarters that they're running now. My thoughts on this one, as I said before, I love the art style with this. It looks like a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed Smirk and Dagger's games in the past. I've played a number of them, and I've featured a number of them on my channel, showing you how to play some of those as well. And each one brings different things to the table. They don't just cookie cutter their games. Each game is a very unique, different game. And Kurt, the owner of the company, does a really good job of really investing his time and effort into each game, making sure that it's a good fit for the company, in my opinion, that I've seen so far. And in my conversations with him over the years at different conventions that he has been a wonder and a blast to talk to he's very enthusiastic about his games and his company and getting new games out there showing you guys all the cool stuff that his company can do and just getting right down in there anytime you go into a convention with him he is on the floor teaching those games with players as they sit down to play them he is not in the background running different things and he tries to get interviews here and there in between those sessions but he really does love to sit down and teach you how to play those games which is just so cool to see the next thing that i want to talk about is should they be on Kickstarter? I know this has been a big question with a lot of companies, especially established companies. And I've always been a supporter. I Obviously, I want to support the brick and mortar. And it's great that they offer that option through here. And there doesn't appear to be any Kickstarter exclusives yet. So as a brick and mortar store, there aren't any things that, that customers are going to be missing out on if they don't back this so brick and mortar stores will have an opportunity hopefully to to catch up on that but i am a big proponent of kickstarter i've seen some amazing games come out on kickstarter and really gives you the opportunity to get new games out that that normally companies might not take a risk on and then again uh, beyond that is that you're going to see additional components for these games expansions whatnot that you would not potentially see in a retail version because a company has to take a risk on that beforehand where the Kickstarter, they can kind of see and gauge how that's going right off the bat. So a game like this, you probably wouldn't see like the acrylic things if they end up doing like a neoprene mat, stuff like that would not probably hit a retail game just because it's so much of a risk on the cost end of things versus a Kickstarter. So I'm, I'm a big supporter of this. I don't have a problem with Smirk and Dagger going to Kickstarter. This is a good way for them to bring out additional games that, they, that would have potentially taken them a longer period of time to get out. I don't know if that's the case, but from my standing, that could be the case. And I'm all for it. I've really, like I said, I've really had a blast playing a lot of Smirk and Dagger's games. Nevermore is a big one of mine. I'm a big fan of that. I have the Tower of Madness back here. As you guys can see, another really good game of theirs. I, and like I said, I've covered a number of their other games, and I really like their style. So I am super excited about this one and happy to see them on Kickstarter, getting these games out, getting good funding for them, and potentially getting additional content for them as well. So that's where I stand on that. And then the final question, of course, what this video is about, will I back? And if you haven't figured out already, that is an absolute yes on this one. I am hooked. I love the, the setup for this game. I love the, the theme and the cooperative mode of this, which is outside of, of Smirk and Dagger's wheelhouse in a way. Most of their games are competitive backstabbers. Obviously, the Smirk and Dagger aspect. But I really do like the different ways they're branching out. And some of their games are more 
cooperative now and having different varieties where you can play cooperative versus competitive and stuff like that. So I am definitely interested in this one and I would 100% back this one. Again, I don't know how things are going to balance out if I have the funds to actually back it or not, but if it was me, if I had my money, I would put money on this one for sure. This is a game that I would love to add to my collection. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Let me know in the comments as well what you guys think of these this new video format. If this is one that you like, if there's additional content that you'd like to see within this that might make it more valuable to you as a, as a watcher. And as always, if you find the video helpful, if you like what I do, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. It is one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and produce this content for you. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.